Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. Today, I'm going to be doing my first ever payoff pitch game on my channel. It, this is kind of a playthrough, uh, try to figure the game out type of a thing. Um, I don't have a lot of experience playing it. I've tried a few times, was got hung up uh, doing it, so I just put it off to the side for a while. And now I'm going to try it again. I've watched a couple YouTube videos on it, and I um, went and visited with a local guy, a strat guy that um, also plays payoff pitch, and he showed me the game and how to play it. So hopefully we are in a situation now where I'll know the game well enough to play it. I have the 2019 set, so today we're going to be doing the 2019 Toronto Blue Jays visiting the 2019 New York Yankees. In the middle of the diamond, I have the New York Yankees stadium card, Yankee Stadium card. And um, I have the lineups ready to go and the pitching. And so let's take a look at the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, they will have Freddie Gelvis at shortstop, Craig Biggio at second, Vlad Guerrero, Jr. at third base, Teoscar Hernandez in left, uh, Lourdes Goriel at DH, Randall Gritchick in center, Justin Smoke at first base, Brandon Drury in right, and Danny Jansen at catcher. And pitching for the Blue Jays will be Marcus Stroman. For the Yankees, I will have this lineup going for the Yankees. Uh, it is Brett Gardner leading off in center, uh, DJ, DJ LeMayhew at second base, Aaron Judge in right field, Luke Voigt at first, um, Edwin Encarnacion at DH. Ursula will be the third baseman. Sanchez will be the catcher. Uh, Torres will be at short. And Mike Talkman will be in left field. And pitching for them will be J.A. Happ. Or J. Happ, or however he likes to be called. So, um, we're going to do this. Now, the set that I ordered, for whatever reason, does not have righty-lefty splits in it. So righty-lefty splits are not going to come into effect in this game. I guess what I ordered was the version without the righty-lefty splits, um, which is fine because that's basically like, um, that's like basic strat and that's what I play on my channel and that's what I prefer to play when I play strat as well. We are only going to use the, um, the, uh, the FAC deck, the fast action deck and not use the dice. Um, it is simpler for somebody who's learning the game, I have been told, to, uh, to play it uh, with just the fact deck rather than using the dice, because when you use the dice, you have to ex almost exclusively refer to all the charts. When you use the fact deck, most or all of the information is in the fact deck or on the cards that you're using for the game. So. Uh, with all of that having been said, I think I've cleared everything out. Oh, and since I am trying to learn this game and I'm not really that familiar with it, uh, when we get to something that I'm hung up on, that I have to look up, I will be uh, in the editing process. I will edit that part out so that I can spare you guys all of the, uh, you know, watching just kind of dead air while I'm looking something up. So, with all of that having been said, let's get on with this. The, 19, or the 2019 Toronto Blue Jays are the visitors. The first batter will be Freddie Gelvis. I And also, when I flip the deck, I will, or flip the card, I will be flipping it over. So, what appears on top over here um, on the original deck will not be what we will be using. I will try to remember to shuffle every three innings. I think that's something else that they that um, a buddy of mine told me to do. So anyway, 
The first reading is a four, and we refer to J.A. Happ's four, and that is in play. We flip another card, and that is a five. Um, uh, Freddie Gelvis for in play, and five is going to be a double. So Freddie Gelvis leads off with a double. That is, uh, that's pretty impressive. Is Kevin Biggio the second baseman today? And that is a hit given up by Hap, so we will put that down. Um, Kevin Biggio, we are looking at a four again, and that is in play again. And then we flip another card and look at his in play, and in play for him is 29 and the 29 reading goes off of his card and down below and the 29 it falls in the range of uh p5 so that is oh i yes it is it's a pop out to the third baseman so he pops out to the third baseman and that brings up vlad we almost got hung up there so <laughs> Vlad Guerrero Jr. is up. We pick a nine, and nine on Hap's card is tough. So then we will pick another card and look at tough for Guerrero, and that is an 11 in the tough range, and that is going to be a strikeout. So there's two down. And Teoscar Hernandez is up. The FAC card, the D6 FAC uh, version is a five, and that is a wheelhouse on um, Hap's card. We'll pick another card. We've got a 23 for Hernandez in the wheelhouse and 23 is a home run. So there's a home run for Teoscar Hernandez and he knocks in two runs. Is up. We pick an eight on uh, the uh, card and that is patient and Lourdes Goriel, we will look, we'll flip, flip another card and we look at 19 for patient and that is a walk. So we've got a walk. The Blue Jay comes off of second, goes to uh, first base because it's Goriel with a walk. And Randall Gritchick is up. Toronto is all over J.A. Happ. That's a 10. And that is going to be an in play. And uh, we'll pick another card and look at in play. In play 10 is, um, let's see what that is. It's going to be a single. So we will, uh, I think we flip the card now and we look to see what kind of a single it is. Sharp liner drops in front of left field. Runner on first advances one base. Runner on second scores. So that's where we are. First and second with two outs. Gritchick with a hit. And uh, moves Guriel to second. And uh, Smoke is up. You have a pick of three. And three is ballpark. So we have our first ballpark reading. We go, we have a 54. 54 falls in wheelhouse in Yankee Stadium. So we will pick another card, and uh, it's 77 in Smoke's wheelhouse, which I'm not um, too, well, no, it is off his card. And uh, 77 falls in the F8 range, and that will be a fly out to center field. And that is it. So anyway, Gardner is up against Marcus Stroman. As an 11 on Stroman's card, it's in play. We look at the next card, and it is a 36. 36 on in play is going to be, surprisingly, off of his card. And 36 is a ground out to three, so he grounds out to the first baseman. Um... Yeah, this is going smoothly so far. <laughs> Nine for LeMayhew. Nine um, on Stroman's card is an in play. We look at um, LeMayhew's in play for 47, and we see that he is off the card as well, and 47 is a G3, two away. 
he grounds out the three, so he goes out three to one as well, we're going to say. And uh, Aaron Judge is up, and that is a five, and five is a ballpark. And we look at ballpark one, and ballpark one is um, wheelhouse. And um, <clears throat> uh, we'll we'll check the wheel we'll check the wheelhouse on Aaron Judge's card seventy four. Not giving a lot of chance for something good to happen there, and there isn't going to be. Uh, seventy four is a fly out to eight, so he runs. And we go to the top of the second, moving right along here. This is nice. I like this. Maybe making mistakes, but I can't be making too many. Five on J.A. Happ's card is Wheelhouse for Brandon Drury. And uh, the Wheelhouse 81, I'm not giving that a lot of uh, hope for being something big. Uh, no, it isn't. Um, 81 is a ground out to six. Then Danny Jansen is up. That's a seven. Seven on Hap's card is tough. And in the tough column for Jansen, you have a 29. 29 is um, a strikeout. So that is the second strikeout for Hap on the day. And that brings us back to the top of the order with Freddie Galvis up. He gets a nine. Nine is a tough. We look at uh, 59 for tough on Galvis. Not giving you a lot of hope there. Oh no, he does. He gets a single. He has a double and a single now. And Caven Biggio with two down and a man at first base. That's a nine. Nine is tough. We go to Caven Biggio's tough and 52. And that is going to be a strikeout. We go to the bottom of the second, and uh, that brings up Luke Voigt as the first batter, first Yankee batter. Seven against Stroman is patient. We'll look at the patient column, and it's a 52, which is a walk. Stroman allowing his first base runner. Luckily, it's Voigt. He's a rock over there. You got nine on Stroman's card, which is in play for Encarnacion. And nine um, in play, it's you know, 51. 51 in play for Encarnacion is, is way off the card. And 51 is a fly out to nine. There is one down, and Ursula is up. Ursula draws a six on Strowman's. That's a tough. Tough for Ursula. Ninety-nine tough. That's a that's a tough that's a tough draw is what that is. It's a fly out to seven. There is two down with a man aboard and Gary Sanchez at the plate. That is a six. Six is tough on Strowman's card and ninety-seven. Again, a tough draw on tough. And that will be a fly out to seven. That brings up Vlad Guerrero Jr. for the um, Blue Jays. He draws a four. J. H. Haps, that's an in play. And a 25 in play is uh, off the card. And that is a um, pop out to the uh, second baseman. One down and Teoscar Hernandez up. You got a seven on Hap's card, which is tough. You look in the tough column for Teoscar Hernandez on a 94, that's gonna be a tough draw, although only barely. And uh, 94 is going to be a fly out to seven. So far it's, uh, so far it's uh, been pretty straightforward. Lords Goriel is the next batter. He draws an eight, that's a patient. Patient on Guriel, 09, is um, a, uh, let's see, that's a walk. So Guriel draws a walk. 
And Gritchick is up. Gritchick has some power. That year he hit 31 home runs. That is an eight on Hap's card, so it's patient. And on the patient column for Gritchick, you have an 89. Let's see if he can pull one out. Um, he cannot. And so 89 is a ground out to six, and he grounds out to the shortstop, and that ends the inning. Probably should have done that after the third inning was over, but uh, I didn't. But anyway, um, Glaber Torres will be the first batter. I guess it doesn't matter as long as you do it every so often. Um, that's an eight on Stroman's card, which is tough. They keep getting the tough on Stroman. That ain't going to help them. A 60 and tough for Torres is going to be <clears throat> a single. That's the first hit allowed by Stroman, and Mike Talkman is up. We have a 10 on Stroman's card, which is tough. And we have a 64 on tough. Let's see if he can manage. He can manage a single. And let's see what ha what kind of single it is. Opposite field liner to left or right field. Runner on first um, advances one base. And runner on second advances one base. So and Stroman is in a little bit of trouble all of a sudden after he was cruising for the first two innings. That brings up Brett Gardner back to the top of the order. And uh, that's a nine, and that is in play. Brett Gardner in play. You don't want to see that if you're Toronto. 73 in play, though, is um, off the card, and that is off of his, like, you know, what he can get that's not an out. Uh, is what, what I mean when I say off the card. 73 is a fly out to 8. Let's see what happens on that out. I'm going to check the out. Um, it's a short fly, so nobody goes anywhere. Um, that's the first time I've really had to check the out for what kind it was. So DJ LeMayhew is up with one down, runners at first and second. He draws a 7, which is a patient. And that's going to probably be, you got to think, a good chance for a walk. And he gets a three, which is indeed a walk. Um, I'm going to play the, I'm going to keep the infield back uh, only because I don't like having the infield in. I hate the odds of that in any game. Um, and I, I'm sure Toronto would rather see a double play and give up a run. So we've got a four, which is in play for Aaron Judge. And the pick is a 63 in play, and that is going to be off of his card. And it is going to be a ground out to four, which is the second baseman. So let's see what kind of an out that is. It is um, all plus advanced. So um, it's a fielder's choice. Um, and a run scores, and that was Aaron Judge, right? So he went 4-3 uh, with an RBI, and Torres scored on it. But there's two down, and uh, that brings up Luke Voigt. Luke Voigt draws a 6, which is tough. Looking in Voigt's tough column at 47 is a strikeout. So where Justin Smoke will uh, face Jay Happ. Jay Happ is still out there. I mean, the game is only 2-1, to one and we're only in the fourth. Smoke gets a three on Happ, which is... A ballpark so we got a ballpark call here and that's a 98 that's going to be in play we'll look at smokes in play and look at 62 in play which is off his card and it will be it's in the out range um, and that's a ground out four so he goes Brandon Drury is up I mean it's almost easier than Strat <laughs> Uh, so we got a six on on um, J. A. Hap's card, which is tough. Drury on a tough with a 19 is going to get a strikeout. So Drury strikes, him and Danny Jansen is up. He gets an eight on Hap's card, which is patient. 
And uh, patient 33 for Jansen is a walk. Allowed three hits and three walks and two earned runs. Galvis back to the top of the lineup with Galvis. He gets a six, which is tough. And he picks a 74 on tough, which is going to be in his out range. And it is a fly out eight. And he is out. And we go to the bottom of the fourth in a two to one game between a really bad team and a really good team from 2019. Um, you have Edwin Encarnacion draws an 11 on Stroman, which is in play. And then you look at the in play for 38 for Encarnacion, and it is off. It's in his out range, and that is going to be a ground out three. One down, and Ursula is up at the plate, and that is a draw of 10, which is tough on Stroman. And the tough reading 30 on Ursula's card is going to be a strikeout and that's two down and Gary Sanchez at the plate and we'll mark the two you got a pick of five which is ballpark we're on the Yankees ballpark card and it is a 47 which is wheelhouse for Sanchez Sanchez wheelhouse 98 which is going to be uh, it is off his card, but only barely. It is a fly out to seven. We are cruising right along in this game that I was so scared that I was not going to be able to figure it out. Been doing a really excellent job of it so far, though. Seven on Caven Biggio on, or, uh, for Hap is a tough. And then we will check his um, tough 20 for Biggio which is going to be a strikeout. So anyway, um, there's one down and um, Vlad Guerrero is up. That's a five on, um, on Hap. And that is a wheelhouse. Wheelhouse for Guerrero is not good, you would think, but that's an 81. And that is going to be off his card. And that is a ground out to six. So two down and he Oscar Hernandez is up at the plate. He gets a 12 on Stroman's card, which is a defense. Now, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, defense. Let's see. Um, I picked the card and I check defense and... Um, So it says, hmm. all right, we're back. And from what I could figure out, um, Teoscar Hernandez was safe by an error um, by the uh, third baseman. So error five. Lords Guriel. And Lords Guriel gets a three on um, Hap's card, which is a ballpark. And the ballpark is a 12, and that is going to be Wheelhouse. And Wheelhouse 26 for Lourdes Goriel is going to be a home run. Lourdes Goriel. is Randall Gritchick up to the plate with two down, nobody on, but another couple of runs in. That's a seven on Hap's card, which is tough. Tough on Gritchick, 73 is going to be off of his card. Yes, it is. 73 is an F8, which is a fly out. Go to the uh, bottom of the fifth with the Blue Jays of 2019 ahead of the Yankees, 4-1. And um, Glaber Torres is the first hitter. He gets a 10 on Stroman. That's a tough. Uh, tough two for um, Glaber Torres is a strikeout. And Talkman up. Talkman gets a three. That's an in play. Um, in play 33 is going to be off his card, actually. And it is a uh, pop out to five. And that brings up Brett Gardner. And Brett Gardner gets a six. That is a tough. And it's going to be a tough 26, which is a strikeout. And Gardner strikes out. 
There will be a pitching change. The Yankees are going to bring in a new pitcher. Uh, Hap has not been particularly effective. Here will for the Yankees will be Tommy Conley. And uh, he's going to face Justin Smoke as the first batter for Toronto. That is a seven. So seven on Conley's card is a tough. And a 71 tough is going to be off his card, which is going to be a um, fly out to eight. Brandon Drury steps up and um, he gets, uh, th there's a draw of nine which is ballpark for Drury, and it's a ballpark seven, which is wheelhouse. And wheelhouse 17, that's not gonna be good, you would think, and it isn't, it's a home run. So Drury goes deep, and Danny Jansen comes up. He gets a three, uh, three is defense. And we look at um, defense, on LeMayhew. So Danny Jansen is on by an E4 and a man allowed on and Freddie Galvis steps up with one down um, and one on and um, and a run already in this inning and Freddie Galvis gets a um, he draws a four, which is a patient on Conley's card. And in his patient column 21, he gets a double. And now the, the Toronto Blue Jays are just all over the Yankee. And um, also we're going to have to check the hit double looping liner to right field. Runners advance two bases. So that is exactly what we have. Runners at second and third. For Caven Biggio, with one out, they will bring the infield in, and I don't really know what to do on that, but we'll we'll play it by ear. Caven Biggio is up. He gets a seven, which is tough, and a tough for a seventy-five is probably not going to be. It is. It's a single. Caven Biggio on tough. Gets and Connolly gives up another hit, and um, uh, let's see. That's not an earned run because he was on by an error. Vlad Guerrero is the batter with runners at the corners. Oh, wait a minute. We got to check for the single. Um, the single says sharp liner drops in front of the left fielder. Runner on first advances one base. Runner on second advances one base. Um, so, yeah, that's what we've got. Runners are at the corners. And you have Vlad Guerrero coming up to the plate. Uh, that is a nine on Conley. And that's a ballpark. Man, this guy and Yankee Stadium is not good for ballpark. Although here it's an in play. So we will pick it and check for in play 40. And that is an out. And it is going to be a ground ball to the uh, first baseman. That's two out, but let's check what kind of an out. Ground ball to first base. It was a ground ball uh, fielder's choice. So, oh wait, no, the infield was in. So, if the infield's in really know how to resolve that one so we're just going to put that one in the books as they cut the run off at third or at home and runner the runner on first advanced to second and there's two outs with runners at second and third and um because it was a it was a fielder's choice so the i would assume the fielder's choice would have gone home so we're going to just sit, call it a fielder's choice runners at second and third two down and Tiasker hernandez up and he gets an eight on Conley's card, which is a tough. Of course, they've been dragging him all over the field on tough. That's a 92 tough, and that will be out of his range. It is a fly ball seven uh, to the left fielder. You, as the batter, and Stroman is still out there going strong. Now, I know before the game, I was supposed to do um, a thing with the cards where I figured out 
where I would figure out how um, many innings he could pitch. I didn't do that, but um, uh, I'm just going to play it by ear with how well he's pitching. Um, I mean, he would have been, his fatigue would have been six, so he still probably wouldn't be tired yet because um, we're in the sixth. So LeMayhew is up. He gets a six, which is a tough, and it's a tough 10, which is going to be a strikeout. So LeMayhew strikes out. You got a 10. 10 is a tough again. Aaron Judge is drawing the tough, and the tough 61 is going to be a strikeout. He's sixth as a bat, and that's an eight. That's going to be a tough. Third straight tough that's going to be drawn, and this is a 16, and a 16 on tough is going to be a strikeout for Void. And we will reshuffle uh, the cards and put all the cards back together. And uh, all right, so with the Blue Jays up in the seventh, there's a new pitcher for the Yankees. That'll be Jonathan Holder. Conley just goes one forgettable inning. He gives up three hits and uh, one earned run. And we've got a reshuffle deck with an eight. Guriel on Holder is a tough to begin with. And that is a 65 tough, which is going to be a single. Hit given up by Holder. Randall Gritchick gets a nine. Uh, that is a ballpark. That is never good for Yankee Stadium. 86, though, is not that bad. It's an in play. And in play 84 is off the card and it will be a ground out to six. We will check for whether that was a double play or not. Um, well, it says it was a ground out, um, but this says that it's a pop out. All right, well, I mean, it says it's a pop-out, so I'm just going to go with pop-out because uh, I really don't know. Don't have the time to figure it out, so it's going to be a pop-out to six. Uh, let me know what I should have done there because out just says um, for catcher it's pop-out, for uh, infield or pitcher it's a pop-out, for outfield it's a deep fly. So that's what it says on out. So I don't know how I was supposed to determine whether that was a double play or not. But, uh, yeah, leave a comment. You got Justin Smoke up next with a man on and um, one out. And that is an eight on Jonathan Holder's card, which is a tough. And a tough zero. And that is going to be a strange play. I know that. So let's check it for uh, a rare play. We pick the card, and it is a... Um, Runners on base, it's a runners on base 8, which is pitcher with a wild pitch rating of 30 to 31 or higher sends a pitch to the backstop. Um, let's see what his wild pitch is. Uh, hmm. Wild pitch, it has nothing. Um, DP, injury, hold. Otherwise, D or F catcher misses the pitch. All right. Um, let's see what his catcher is. Um, his catcher is a C. So he doesn't miss the pitch. So let's see what else happens. In either case, runners advance one base. Well, there's neither one of those. Um, happened wild pitch I'm just gonna say that that's just an um, it's just an out I mean I don't I don't know what to say there again I don't know what to what to call this because I'm reading right off of here it says pitcher with a wild pitch rating of 30 to 31 or higher sends a pitch to the backstop 
and I can't determine that what his wild pitch rating is because it doesn't say anything after wild pitch um, after WP and um, then it says otherwise a DRNF catcher misses the pitch in either case runners advance one base but he's not a D he's a C so we're just gonna say it's two out and uh, that was uh, that was smoke right yeah so we're just gonna say we're gonna call it an out and a runner still at first base don't know if that's right but you know Brandon Drury is up and that's a five now all of a sudden I've hit all these problems tough on the pitcher and then 93 tough is going to be an out and it's a fly out seven yeah I'm gonna at least print pitch Strom in this inning uh, it's a seven, which is patient for Encarnacion. He's the batter. It's a 57 patient, which is a single. That's a that's only the third hit allowed by Stroman this game. Next is an eight, which is a tough for Ursula, and we look in his column for tough, and uh, that is. Um, a six, six tough is a strikeout. Um, but anyway, he pops out or whatever, he's out. Um, Sanchez is up, and that is a, an 11 on Stroman's card, which is in play. And in play 67 on Sanchez is off his card, and it is a ground out four. That would be two outs. Um, unless um, unless the out is a double play so we'll refer to the out section and that is not it's in uh, it's a fielder's choice so it's going to be um, it's going to be uh, uh, four to six we'll say four to six because they would go for the runner at second so the runner and the runner at first would be safe And then Glaber Torres is up, and that is a draw of eight, which is tough. And we look at the tough column nine, and that's probably going to be a strikeout, and it is. Eight with Jansen up. Holder is still out there because the Yankees are getting destroyed anyway. Um, that's a pick of eight, which is tough. And a tough 89 is going to be an out, and uh, that's a ground out six, one away. And uh, the next batter is Galvis with an eight, which is tough. And uh, that's a 60 in tough, which is going to be a single. So Galvis, Galvis has been amazing this game. He has. Four hits, he's four for five with only one fly out to center field. And uh, that's a hit allowed by Holder. And Caven Biggio is up with one on and one out. That's a 10, which is tough. And you've got a 64 in tough, which is um, a double. So Caven Biggio hits a double and we'll check what kind of double that line drive into the alley in center field all runners score so he knocks in another run holder gives up a hit and an earned run and the Yankees are just getting demolished here which is kind of surprising given how many wins they had that year that's a nine which is in play on um, or wait a minute that's a ballpark on uh, holders card and it's a ballpark 73, which is going to be in play for Guerrero. And that's a 38 in play, which is off of his card. And it is a ground out third, or a ground out three. That's two away. And let's see what kind of out. Runners advance. So that is two down with a runner at third. Guerrero with a uh, four, four, I guess four to three and Teoscar Hernandez is up with two down and that is a four that is a tough Teoscar Hernandez tough 29 is a strikeout so we go to the bottom of the eighth 
And in the bottom of the eighth, I am going to make a pitching change uh, for Toronto. They will be bringing in um, Ryan, Ryan Tapera. Ryan Tapera is coming in to pitch. So Stroman has pitched seven, he pitched seven innings. He allowed three hits, walked two, and only one earned run while striking out seven. And uh, that brings Talkman as the batter here in the eighth inning. That's a nine. That's a tough uh, for on Tapera. With an 11, tough 11 is a strikeout. There's one away, and Tapera already has a K. Brett Gardner is up. That's a five. That's going to be wheelhouse for Gardner. And it's a wheelhouse 23, which is a home run. Gardner goes deep. Tapera gives up a home run. And that brings up LeMayhew. LeMayhew with an eight. And that's an in play. And uh, in play 19, which is going to be a single for LeMayhew. Now all of a sudden, everybody's getting on base and getting hits and all kinds of stuff. And it's really tiring me out. There's one down with Aaron Judge up. And that's a 10. That is a ballpark. And it's a ballpark 10. That is going to be wheelhouse. And wheelhouse on Judge 20 is going to be, you guessed it, a home run. And they get another two runs out of that. He gives up a third hit. One, two runs on that. And now he's given up three runs himself. And then Luke Voigt is up. Nobody on and one out in the eighth. That's a three. That's a that's a tough, but you know the Yankees don't care. Fifty-four tough is um, well, they they care there. That's a strikeout, and Tapera gets his second strikeout, and Edwin Encarnacion gets a four. That's a tough, and it's a tough ninety-nine, which you got to believe is going to be off his card, and it is, and it is a flyout to left field. So Encarnacion flies out to left, but not before the Yankees get three runs right there. And they are now down 7-4 to four as we go to the top of the ninth. Lourdes Goriel. And uh, the Yankees are going to make another uh, pitching change. Uh, five, six, seven. They're going to bring out someone else because... Now they got a chance. Now to roll this Chapman. You know you wanted to see Chapman in this game. A roll this Chapman comes in and he's going to face Lords Goriel. And that is a 12 and that is going to be a tough. And Lords Goriel with an 83 tough is off his card and it is a ground out to six. So six to three. In the ninth, one away, Randall Gritchick. Gritchick gets a six. Probably almost everything is going to be tough with him. 43 tough is a strikeout, so Gritchick strikes out. And that is one strikeout for Chapman, two down. And the Smokester is up. He gets a tough. He draws a tough. And that's a 74 tough, and that is going to be off his card, and it's going to be a fly out to eight. So Smoke does fly out to eight. No runs come in for Toronto. They have a 7-4 to four lead going into the bottom of the ninth with the Yankees at the plate against, um, they are going to take Tapera out, you know, because really he did not pitch very well. And uh, they're going to bring in Ken Giles. So Ken Giles is going to take over for Tapera, who only went one inning, allowed three hits and three earned runs. And he's going to face Urshela. And Urshela gets a five, which is a tough. 
and he draws an 81 in tough, which is going to be a single. So Urshela works a base hit here in the uh, here in the ninth inning. Giles giving up a hit on the first battery faces with Sanchez at the plate. That's a seven. That's a tough. That is a 29 tough. That's going to be a strikeout. So one down, and that is Giles' first strikeout. We go to Glaber Torres with a nine. Nine is a tough. 59 tough is going to be a single. So Glaber Torres works a single. And let's see what kind of hit that is. What kind of single that is. Opposite field liner into left or right. Runner on first advances. One base runner on second score. So it is going to be first and second with one out. Talkman. Um... Or Torres with a single and Talkman up. And a second hit allowed by Giles. And are the Blue Jays going to self destruct here? Talkman is at the plate. He gets a five. That's a tough. And it's a tough 53, which is going to be a strikeout. So Talkman K's. So Giles comes in, he allows two hits, strikes out two, and it's all up to Brett Gardner back to the top of the lineup. He gets a seven, he draws a tough, and it's a tough 78, which is going to be an out, and it's going to be a ground out four, and that is going to be it, four to three, and the Yankees don't get any runs there, and they lose this game 7-4. to four. I know I probably made some mistakes as things heated up in the later innings, but I don't think the result of the game changed. But anyway, I welcome comments. I'm trying to learn the game, but that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.